Now, this painting by Fransak de Chakapak uh, comes from Thailand. And he said that he painted the magnolia on the hillside near where he lives. Of course, a lot of magnolias came from the Himalaya um, and uh, higher up. But it's a beautiful painting. And I think he's an extraordinarily gifted artist. I first saw his paintings when I was in a hairdresser's shop. All very unlikely, but I looked and looked as I was in the hairdresser's opposite the Oriental Hotel in Bangkok. And I thought, that's a very good print. And then I went to look closer with my magnifying glass, which I always carry with me, and I thought, I think this is original. And he signed it in his usual way here. And I was able to track him down on the internet. At least not me, but a great Japanese friend who was very good at these things managed to do it. Well, we went off to Burma, my husband and I, and we were there for a few days. During that time, um, my Japanese friend alerted Fansakti. And when I came back, he said he'd come and visit me with some of his paintings. And I said, fine, I've only got one day um, in Bangkok. We'll have to make sure that you make it that day. So he said, yes, well, I brought some paintings. And he said, I brought 23. So I thought this was quite impressive and rather more than I'd originally intended. So he said, I can't um, uh, show these uh, paintings here in the, in the lobby of the Oriental Hotel. I've got them in the hairdresser's shop. So I went over to the hairdresser's shop and looked. And he'd done a big series. Um, he'd done one very big one, and he'd done 23, or maybe 22, smaller ones, which had been on exhibition. And I said, well, um, how much? And so on and so forth. Well, the usual banter back and forth. Um, and then he said, well, I want you to buy all these. So I said, well, really, you know, I can't. And um, this is too much. Uh, and I don't need that number to show how good you are. And then she sa I said, all right, I'll buy two, which I chose. And not the big one, because although I liked it, it was very much out of my usual price range. Well, later that afternoon, I was by the pool in the Oriental, and he came along to see me. And he said, I decided to, give, to buy, that you buy the two paintings, but I'm giving you the rest. So I said, well, uh, well, I don't know that I, I can cope with 23 paintings, and I'm leaving tomorrow at dawn. And at that point, it's very useful to have a husband who's container with, as Jim was. So we went to see the company's agent in Thailand, and he got all his paintings packed up for me and sent by container. Um, since then, of course, I've seen a lot of Fansakti, and he often comes to England. His paintings changed a bit. Um, in the beginning, he was quite... Um, he, he spent a lot of time doing photographs, and I said, no, this isn't what you should be doing. You should be looking at the real plant. And from about that time, about 2012, 
um, no, me, even earlier than this painting, um, he started looking and it made a huge difference to the paintings that he produced. And I have many and I think that some of them are absolutely superb. And this is a beautiful botanical painting and yet a lovely lustrous painting of a magnolia.